I was going to talk about the list of demands that an organisation called The Muslim Vote had placed before Keir Starmer, telling him that unless he capitulates to all 18 of them, then they are going to move their vote elsewhere, no doubt to the Green Party. Um, well, more of them are at another time, because I'm in far too good a mood to talk about a bunch of idiots like that, uh, and I'm including the Labour Party in that description, as well as the, the Muslim Vote Organisation. Because DeSantis has done something wonderful in Florida and even our own spineless government, as reported in the Daily Telegraph, has put up two fingers to the World Health Organization and their demands. So I'm feeling in far too good of a mood. And Coupling that with the fact that I went out on a long ride through the woods this morning and I was accompanied by the smell of wild garlic and the sight of purple carpets of bluebells and uh, little white daisies glip glimmering in the shadow uh, of the ferns, then I I'm in far too good a mood to talk about shenanigans with the Labour Party. I'm going to be talking about Florida and this nice report about the World Health Organization. I am Granny Opterix. All right, so we'll start with DeSantis. It was such a treat watching him talking. No nonsense. If you're not in university to learn, you're shipped out. If you threaten people, you get arrested. And he's also upping security in various quarters of Florida as well. And there was something else I saw, which which is absolutely marvellous. If you feel unsafe in Columbia, we can get you transferred to a Florida university. And to that end, he is also upping the budget for extending Florida educational um, facilities, uh, including a new college, I believe. Uh, Gainesville FLA. Uh, today, Governor Ron DeSantis touted Florida's success in maintaining order and ensuring student safety in Florida's campuses. Uh, Pro Hamas encampments were disbanded in minutes and Jewish students were kept safe from harassment. That's not to say he didn't get some uh, pushback of a sort. Uh, the Gainesville Sun reports that DeSantis uh, press conference was met with chanting pro pro Palestine protesters. Let's see what if we can get anything there. Oh. You you will notice, of course, that that's a small, well caged in group of people. They have every right to chant and to disagree with DeSantis's political position, but they are contained and they're not threatening anyone. They are just making their feelings heard. And that's reasonable enough. It says here, pro-Palestine protesters flocked to Governor Ron DeSantis Wednesday press conference at the University of Florida which was meant to tout state handling of demonstrations last week. So I am particularly impressed by DeSantis. Over the last few weeks, we witnessed a descent, a descent into chaos, said Chancellor of the State University System of Florida, Ray Rodriguez. Under the leadership of Governor DeSantis, we were able to maintain law and order by taking necessary security measures. Uh, campus presidents had every resource at their disposal, but it's not only that they had the resources, but they were prepared to use them because all the camp, all the university presidents can ha have the resources uh, in the rest of America and here in Britain too, but they're just not using them. 
Governor DeSantis also directed colleges and universities in Florida to ensure commencement ceremonies are not cancelled. He actually made the point that there are many people who were uh, unable to graduate from high school because of lockdown. And so they didn't get that uh, milestone in their careers. And he's determined that they are going to get that milestone on this occasion. A great man. Money for school safety funding, uh, extra money to protect Jewish day schools, the same amount to protect Florida's historically black colleges and universities. And that's not just to even things out, because uh, unfortunately, when black people uh, kick against the pro pro so-called progressive agenda, they are as badly treated as the Jews are. And so in many cases, I'm quite sure just go along for a quiet life, which isn't the right thing to do, in my opinion, but I can understand it. So if they're getting extra help, that's good, good for everyone. Um, all right. So that's what happened there. And I don't know, somewhere it says uh, he said we're graduating a generation of mor morons. I, I don't um, I think I've lost that page. Oh, here we are. Ron DeSantis says, graduating a bunch of imbeciles. And he's talking about the pro-Palestine uh, protests. And here, that's that. I can move this a little bit. Oh, I can move this a little bit. That That's better. Oh, um, no. Well, here you are. Governor DeSantis condemned pro-Palestine protests sweeping college campuses. We don't do that in the state of Florida, DeSantis says. As protests take place at universities across the country, DeSantis mentions there had been an attempt to protest and encampment at UF, uh, University of Florida, I suppose, but it was taken down in a couple of minutes. A, a, a fantastic DeSantis, and he shows the way. And perhaps by showing the way, other people will now rediscover their spines that had dropped down the back of the sofa temporarily. And here we have an example, at, at least apparently an example of some spine. Britain refuses to sign global vaccine treaty that would force it to give away fifth of jabs. This was a proposal... Uh, uh, pr uh, proposed by the World Health Organization. Everybody had to sign up. And then if there was a pandemic, everybody had to contribute. And uh, Britain says, oh, no, we're but a sharing of pandemic products seen as a red line for many countries locked in talks. I think uh, the WHO realized it had somewhat overstepped the mark. Now, our government is very prone to making a lot of noise and sound and fury and then actually backtracking. So I'm holding my joy in a little bit of a leash at the moment, but I am somewhat heartened. Britain is refusing to sign the WHO pandemic treaty while it insists the UK would have to give away a fifth of its jabs. The UK is firmly against such vaccine related commitments and will not sign any form of the pandemic agreement that undermines British, British sovereignty. Representatives of the WHO's 9194 member states are halfway through talks to try to agree to the WHO pandemic agreement, an initiative first announced in May 2021. OK, so Britain is finally showing some independent thought. I mean, what? Uh, it, it's just a small, small thing. And I don't know how long it's going to last, but I certainly am very much heartened by this. And I suppose particularly by the stance of Governor DeSantis in America, who shows how it can be done. I am. Uh, yeah. So as I said, fresh from, well, having had my shower, I got quite dusty and uh, muddy out on the horse. But um, it was a glorious ride out. And my horse seemed to enjoy it as well. And he kept asking me to go off onto side roads so we could have a counter. Um, but I didn't do it that time because I had to get back here to make this video. So, but I'm still happy. Okay, till next time. 
Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.